Hey everyone, Leaf here. Today I'm going to talk to you about using a second screen to help you with your framing when you're recording your videos. Now, the easiest way to do that without having to pay, buy an expensive monitor for a camera, if you don't have a, cam a video camera that has a flip screen, the easiest way to do that is record with your cell phone and use your computer. Now, depending on what YouTube creator you go to watch their videos, there's a lot of them where you'll actually find that they're using cell phones in their videos. It's actually really common and maybe more common than you might think. The reason behind that is that smartphones will record video at high frame rates. So you might get, instead of going your 30 frames a second, you can do your 60, 120, or sometimes even higher than that, depending on what you want to do. So you get some really nice slow motion. So you have a lot of videos, uh, King of Random uses cell phones to do their slow motion. I've seen Jerry Rig Everything use uh, cell phones for the slow motion. So using your phone in a, in a video is actually a lot more common than you might think. So if you want to use one for just your basic recording as I am right now, if you want to see what you're recording, instead of having to flip your phone over, use your front-facing camera, which isn't doesn't quite have the same resolution, isn't as good a camera, it's just as easy as getting a computer and plugging it in. Now, what is screen sharing? Well, if you're recording your videos on a cell phone like I am, I've got a cell phone here, my daily driver, my Galaxy S7, I'm currently recording on a Galaxy S6, and to see how I'm framed, I'm looking at my computer. Now, how am I doing that? Well, that's where the screen sharing comes in. I'm currently using a program called SideSync, and what that does is it works, it's geared primarily for Samsung Galaxy phones and Galaxy tabs, but it doesn't, it's not just limited to those. It, it will work with any Android phone with KitKat, with the operating system KitKat or later. Now, to, for this to work, first, thing you've got to do is you have to put the app on the phone. Next thing you have to do is put the app on the computer. Now, putting it on the computer is a little more challenging because it's a little harder to find, but once you found it, it's a nice simple install, really easy. So, you put it on your phone, you got it on the computer. What do you, what do, you do now? Well, let's go take a look. Okay, the first thing you have to do is turn on the app on both the phone and on the computer. So. I've got the app running on my phone sitting on the table here so we can actually see what's going on. So once you get into the app, you have on the or it'll show up on the computer. So as you can see I have the Galaxy S6 that I'm recording on and I have the Galaxy S7 which is on the table. Now that's the one that I want to connect to because then I'll be able to show you what I'm doing. So it's connected. Once it's connected you get a screen popping up in the middle. And that shows your whole screen. So whatever you see on your home screen, that's what you see here. Now, if you want to swipe around, it's just a simple matter of, oops, dragging and dropping with your cursor. Cursor. So you want to start recording? Click on the camera. Pops up. Oh, well, that's a problem. We're looking straight down into the desk. So we'll flip it around. Oh, we're looking up. We've got the selfie camera. Hi. Notice the screen turned on the computer to identify that we're now looking in port or in landscape mode on the phone. Now I turn it back up right again and once again it turns. So as I'm recording to make sure that I'm nicely framed I don't have to be looking at the screen on the phone instead of off to the side because Say I'm looking at the camera right now, I look off to the side. It looks kind of funny if I'm always looking side to side to see if I'm in focus or not. Like It's a little, a little skewed right now because I'm farther away. But it gives you a general idea of what we're looking at here. This works really, really well for trying to frame shots. If you have a wireless mouse, you don't even have to have this near you. You can just have the mouse sort of sitting on the desk beside you. You can go and you can go through and you can click start, you can click stop, put the mouse off to the side, awesome. Then when you're done, you stop it, you click home, goes back to where you were, and Bob's your uncle, nice and simple. 
Now the reason why this is handy is because the way I'm recording, you can't see obviously, but I'm using the rear facing screen because it's a higher resolution cap rear facing screen, rear facing camera because it's the better camera out of the phone. So when I have it turned this way, I can't actually see the screen. So I don't know if I'm framed, I don't know if I'm losing the top of my head, if I'm too low, too high, side to side. But with the second screen, it makes it a lot easier to find out if I'm framed. Now, that is exactly what you want to be able to do on a regular basis, so your videos look awesome. I know mine necessarily aren't the best, I'm working on it, but as you go along you find little tips and tricks to make things that much easier. And the screen sharing on Android, I'm sure there's one on Mac, I don't know what it is because I'm not in that ecosystem, but if you can find one, all the power to you, it's going to make your life a lot easier and make those video recordings that much better. So, till next time, have a good one.